Hi everybody, my name is Alyssa. I'm the head of marketing over here at Headliner and today I'm going to be showing you how to upload a custom font here into Headliner. So first things first is you'll need to go ahead and log into your Headliner account. You can do that by visiting make.headliner.app or visiting our website. Once you're logged in, you're ready to go. Navigate on over to the upper right hand corner and click your little account profile person here. Click account settings and then over here on the left hand side you'll see the settings pane and you'll want to click on over into fonts. And once you're here all you'll do is go ahead and click add font and then you can go ahead and upload or select a font one of two ways. The first way is if you already have it downloaded onto your computer so say you designed your very own custom font awesome for you. All you'll do is click this or choose a file and it'll open up your lovely little file folder on your computer and then you can go ahead and drop it in from here. Or you can go ahead and search Google's font bank as well. So that's what I'm going to do. So just click in the search bar and type away. So I am going to add this ooh baby font and just clicked it and now you can see ooh baby is permanently added into my lovely font bank here. So by adding in custom fonts or Google fonts, you can kind of add a little bit more design flair to your actual audiograms and podcast videos that you create here in Headliner. Adding custom fonts allows you to really build on that brand image and then also kind of and also create a cohesive look and feel to your podcast video content. Doing this allows you to easily be more recognized on social and on the web as well as once again, just kind of building on some of that brand recognition. Adding fonts in Headliner, super easy. It took me all of maybe 30 seconds, including logging in, to go ahead and add my fonts here into Headliner. And I do wanna mention custom fonts are a pro feature. So if you want to go ahead and add your own fonts or use the Google fonts, you will need to upgrade your account to the pro version of Headliner. But that's all we have today. So adding fonts and headliner, super simple, super easy. If you have any questions, thoughts, comments, ideas, feel free to drop them in the comment section down below. Or you can always email us at support at headliner.app or just DM us anywhere that you can find us on the internet. Um, and as always, thank you so much for watching it, for being part of the headliner community, and happy podcasting.